Okay, before we do this little fight here, I've changed up my skills a bit. Uh, I put the rune on zombie dogs, which I should have done straight away, but I didn't realize I had it. Uh, I've changed Grass of the Dead to this key. I'm still using Poison Dart, but I've switched out uh, the, whatever it was, intelligence bonus thing for Haunt, which uh, I'm not really spending any of my mana, so to have something that does a lot of damage. 575 damage uh, for, you know, a bit of a bit of mana there. Would be good. Would be good to actually use my mana a bit. So let's try it out on this guy. So it's like a damage over time for five seconds or something. Doesn't have cooldown. It doesn't look like cool. Oh, I can just like keep smashing on him like that. Okay, it looks like there's uh, little spirits floating around him. Is what's doing the damage there. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it stacks up though. I'm not quite sure. Oh, it looks like we've actually got some wounding rings here. The adventuring ring of wounding. Extra experience, a bit less than what we've got now, but the extra damage, you know, should help out taking down things. Two of those and extra six damage, so we'll put those on there. Now we'll put our uh, plus experience six rings on our Templar because uh, he does share that as well, so I can probably show that in action here. With bonus experience, wait, bonus experience per kill 32, 31.24, see, gives you a percent, 20% of that, so, you know, about a bit over one for each ring there. It's just a nice little bonus per mob killed. That bonus experience per kill makes a big difference at the earlier levels. Let's uh, let's see that uh, stat multiplying that I talked about earlier on with uh, in action here with this vitality. So he's got 711 life at the moment, and uh, 1100 life now. So that's a huge difference for just 17 vitality. And the uh, extra strength should uh, up his damage a fair bit too, so from 0 0.63 to 4. Not too bad there. And the, he'll share a bit of that experience with us as well, which is nice. Now, I think once we kill this yellow guy up here, the uh, champion, a pretty nasty pack of Dark Berserker Elites comes up, so... Let's kite off and kill off all these guys here first, all these Zealots, before we kill the main guy. So I don't really want to have to deal with adds and those Berserkers. Those Berserkers can... Uh, they might not one-hit me with my health and shield and everything, but uh, they can definitely do a lot of damage in one hit. They get close to you. It depends on what affix they spawn with as well. I think I've seen them spawn with Molten before, which would be pretty nasty. Alright, he cups those Berserkers. It's um knockback. Alright, that's not too bad as long as I don't let him get near me. Let's put these damage over times on them. Just these guys as a base mob are pretty nasty. Use those slows on them as much as possible. Good job, dogs trap me against the wall like that. This is exactly what we want. Let's put a slow on them there. Put some more of these haunts on them. Need to play around with those haunts a little bit more and see how they work. They seem to add to the damage a fair bit. There we go. Deckard, no! What a disappointing end to a classic Diablo character. Ooh, we can potentially make much better gloves here. Let's try these out. They'll roll with strength. Wow, no. Oh damn, I thought that was ten. I saw the ten and intelligence. I thought that was that was pretty good. Ah, a bit of extra protection. A little losing experience. Ah, let's put them on anyway. They're colourful. That's always important. So I don't expect we'll be getting any big news from uh, Blizzard in regards to Diablo anytime soon. Uh, We've just had. Well, what have we got here? Nightmarish. We're sort of Blizzard. Sort of tends to like to uh, just rest on the current patch until it, the effect of it wears off a bit before announcing anything in the upcoming patch. So I expect they'll just be working diligently on um, 1.0.6 at the moment, which I don't think will be the PvP patch. I think we'll be seeing more class balancing, maybe um, more adjustments for the barbarian and things like that. I, I expect that they will make. Uh, will win Barbarian harder to gear for. Um, I don't know what sort of nerfs that entails, not having played the class myself, but um, I think they'll they'll want it to be the less obvious, the less obvious uh, best choice even for lowly gear ca characters, because uh, at the moment for under 10 million you can gear up a pretty decent will win Barbarian. Oh, we have new abilities. So I've put Horrify with Phobia Rune on there, which um fears all enemies around me, so that should just be a nice save uh, if I get surrounded or in an awkward situation I can 
pop that and everything should run away and not hurt me, so that's, that should be good. So back to what I was saying, uh, yeah, I don't expect too much news for a little while, um, so I'm just going to be playing these these hardcore series and uh, playing my software character more, gearing her up more, and uh, doing that sort of stuff. Maybe I'll do some collaborative efforts with some of the other YouTubers. I was talking to Rohar a little bit earlier on stream, and um, maybe we might end up farming some Hellfire Rings or something like that. I might talk to him a little bit later, and um, also be playing some Chivalry when I can. I'm currently trying to learn how to use the bow well enough to be able to make a video on that. It's been about a week since I made a video on Chivalry, so I want to get that out uh, soon. But uh, just the bow is very difficult. I've had a few requests to cover it, but uh, the ranged combat in Chivalry is just yeah, just really, really tough. So um, I feel like I'm getting to the point now where I might be able to start getting some decent footage for it and have a, some good tips and uh, strategies to share for bow combat in different game modes and things like that. I think I'll be covering uh, the bow in some sort of team uh, team setting, so maybe like team deathmatch or last last man standing or something like that, rather than free for all. So I don't think uh, bow classes hold up so well in free for all. But rest assured, if there's any major news in the uh, Diablo 3 world, uh, I will be covering it. So it's always good to uh, be subscribed to my channel if you're looking to catch up on the latest Diablo 3 news. <laughs> <laughs> Not so subtle promo there. Now we're heading into the spider fight and we I just picked up an empowered shrine, so that's awesome. Uh, as long as she doesn't take too long GG and around starting the fight. I might um Although to be honest, that it reduces your cooldowns, which will be helpful, but uh oh, I've gotta to talk to this girl. Um but the mana regen is really probably not gonna help so much, so I'm not really using my mana regen that much. Let's just resummon our dogs. Alright, what have we got? Put some of those up, put a slow on our... I don't know if I can stack these, but I'll do them every couple of seconds just in case. I might try and fear her before she scuttles off. Uh, I don't know if she can be feared, maybe not. I might not have been close enough. Wow, that that really does reduce the cooldowns by quite a lot. I can really stack up these um, grass with the deads then. She's not really able to get close to me with all... The, uh, the slowing and everything going on. Alright, those ads weren't too difficult. But where are you appearing? There you are. Put some horns on her. I'll try fearing her again just to see. Not immune. I saw the immune come up that time. We'll just keep stacking up these slows then before that empowered shrine runs out. Hit them every time they come up. Pretty sure uh, ground damage over time affects us stacking a lot now, especially if we like fire effects and things like that, so I assume ones like this could stack as well. Obviously not the slowing effect, but the damage should stack. There we go, working it down pretty quickly now. I was worried this fight would be a little bit more difficult, but uh, it seems we're, we're pretty overleveled at the moment. Hit, hit one of those leveling plateaus again. Feared. Cause a bit of mayhem in there. I'm kind of trapped on these spiders at the moment, there we go. Force move to the rescue. One ad left. And then here she comes. Where is she coming down? There she is. Put that slow on there. Put some more horns on her. Looks like our empowered shrine is worn off there, so. We'll keep stacking that up. You slow me, I'll slow you. And she gets under the last notch. She should just scuttle away again. We'll get off as many hits as I can while she's scuttling away. Cast one more of those. Looks like she's a. Uh, Sort of delayed at the moment. There, but no. Well, maybe we'll kill her this time around. Let's put a horn on her before she runs. Oh man, I'm gonna get it now. Awesome. There we go. Give us our rares. Oh, we, oh, a belt and a ring. That's awesome. Well, I better not preempt preempt seeing the actual rolls, but it's a good le world level belt. Ah, oh, we've got some regen, magic find, health lobes, vitality. That's not too bad. And the ring, I'm excited about the ring. Oh, yes. Wow, that is fantastic. So we've got the integer, integer damage bonus. It's the lower roll, but that's still pretty good. Uh, intelligence, vitality, perfect, perfect. Attack speed, a bit of extra damage from that. Uh, life after each kill is not too, too big. Yeah, the health is not too big. But uh, that's awesome. Let's um, switch that over and give our follow one of our other magic rings. Finding own upgrades, yeah. 
that's fun. Let's give him the uh, extra damage bonus there. Okay, and no, I think that's a pretty good, pretty good time to cut off my second play session. Uh, next up, we have to move through some uh, pretty tougher zones, including uh, moving through the warden and eventually to the butcher. So, just salvaging up things before I go. That's it for today. I'm Ziggy D. Thanks for watching.